we got a dirty chai, just one shot with oat milk. I love how I always say, like, I'm getting coffee, but I actually get a chai. Um, it's just easier for me to say I'm getting coffee. But anyways, so I was at Press Coffee yesterday and the just most random things happened to me and my social anxiety like sparked through the roof. So I walk in, I start ordering the same drink that I just ordered. And then this lady behind me is like, excuse me, where'd you get your dress? And I'm like, Princess Polly. And she removes her headphone. She's like, what'd you say? And I was like, Princess Polly, it's Australian. And she was like, where is that? And I'm like, um, you go online, Princess Polly, she find it on there. And she basically started asking me, like just firing out questions about um, how I got the dress. Um, and then I say like I'm an influencer and she was like how did you become an influencer and I was like um, I honestly like don't know how I actually became an influencer and like I just have major social anxiety it's gotten a lot worse during um, you know quarantine and the pandemic so I was like freaking out I like didn't know like what to say and like meanwhile the coffee guys what the barista is barista a female way of saying Okay, that might be the dumbest thing I've ever said. Anyways, Coffee Dude is um, is watching me. And then, like, the whole coffee shop is quiet listening to our interaction. And, like, I'm already dressed up. I've got a full face. I've got lashes. I've got hair done. I've got on this Princess Polly outfit with these giant Naked Wolf platform boots because... I like to look cute when I go out and also you know I was taking pictures in the outfit and I don't know like as much as I am super confident like I like to just go into places and get out like I don't want to talk to anyone whoa I don't really like want to talk to anyone so she's over here asking me stuff about being an influencer and there's already like a weird stigma about influencers and like obviously you shouldn't be like weird about it but it's just like, I don't know, I just want to get my coffee back. And then, you know, she just kept firing off these questions. And finally, um, I answered all of hers and told her to have like a good day and stuff. And then, um, then my coffee's ready. And so they don't put the cap on your coffee here for some reason. They just pour it into the cup. And like, he puts it down. And then I see him pour like an extra amount to the brim. And I'm like, it's so full right so then I pick it up and it fucking squeezes and like spills everywhere on my hand so I have hot coffee in my hand I'm just like cr like smiling through the pain and I'm bringing it over to the other counter to get a cap and then I'm thinking in my head why didn't I just grab a cap to put it on top of the cup it was just a lot so then I go through that and I start cleaning and he's like you don't have to clean and I was like fuck okay I won't clean I'll leave the counter dirty and now I have coffee all over my hands and I finally get a cap on it and then this girl stops me before I leave the door and she's like hey I overheard that you were an influencer and I'm like of course you overheard it everybody heard it in this coffee shop and she's like what's your Instagram and I give her my Instagram and she follows me so that's really cool but like for a person who has social anxiety it was just like I couldn't I couldn't deal with it I just felt so embarrassed I don't know why for no reason there's no reason for me to be embarrassed like that's a really cool moment i enjoyed it but like also my social anxiety was like someone help me you know so uh that's all <laughs> and today was a lot better because he put the cup down and i grabbed a cap and put it on top of the cup and i left <laughs> literally i just i it's the most summer thing i could think of so, um, on that note, we're gonna head home. I'm gonna listen to Demeanor by Pop Smoke and Dua Lipa. That song has literal crack in it, and I love it so much. I'm gonna go back home, and let's start this, like, Sunday self-care routine. I've got a few new products I wanna try and, like, show you guys. So, let's get that started. Okay, we're in my bathroom and we're gonna start my self-care Sunday routine. So, um, I only use this on Sundays. We're gonna use this Ole Henriksen Lemonade Soothing Scrub. Next, we will be adding Bali Bodies Gradual Face Tan. 
um, they got this awesome new product. It's basically a face cream mixed in with self tanner, which is genius because I have recently stopped tanning my face. I didn't know that you like weren't supposed to like tan your face because you get wrinkles and it makes you age faster. So as you can tell, my body is a little bit darker than my face and your face tends to be so much lighter than the rest of your body naturally especially with girls because we wear makeup um, and i apply sunscreen religiously so i was putting on sunscreen and moisturizer the other day and i was like they should just make a moisturizer self tanner and then i got this in the mail and i was like that's genius so it was so weird because i had just like mixed my moisturizer with some self tanner drops and just like put it in. And I've heard a lot of my friends do that. And then I was just like, why has no one made that? Like, and here we are. So thank you, Bally Body. This is actually sponsored by them. And it's a really, really great idea. And I'm so glad I'm just so happy to like work with them right after I had thought of this. So weird, but um, <clears throat> basically the directions are for an even tan, cleanse your face prior to application. So we already did that. We've got the scrub down, exfoliated my skin, got all the dead stuff off. It's really good to exfoliate your skin before you do self tanner because if you have dry skin like patches on you, then those will um, tan a little bit darker and give you an uneven tan. So you want to make sure your face is like clean and ready to be tanned and you know like basically a clean clear canvas for your self tanner to do its magic um so yeah for an even tan cleanse step two apply a thin layer to your clean dry face and neck blending into the hairline and decolletage Ooh. okay um for optimal results you have to use this uh every one to two days and it has this really cool pump so instead of digging your nails, your acrylics, if you have long nails like me, instead of digging them into a tub, you just pump it, which is awesome. I love that they thought about that because that's like every girl's struggle. You always need like a spoon or like a scoop, but no, just pumps out and you wipe it off and you apply it. Let's talk about other things before I apply this. There is no scent to it, which is what I like to, if you're sensitive to smells, um, there's no scent. This is also really good for anti-aging. It's enriched with antioxidants. It's enriched with aloe vera, cocoa butter, shea butter, all of the goodies to make sure you don't age as fast. And it also helps if you stay out of the sun, use sunscreen, um, and this keeps you tan and moisturized. So it's a no-brainer in my eyes. I don't see why you wouldn't use this especially if you want to stay looking young and lively and no wrinkles this just makes sense also this is something that you use over two to three days it's a gradual tan so when you put this on you're not immediately gonna be like tan and match your whole body you're gonna put it on and it'll like gradually tan you over one to two days so i will be filming this review like over a couple of days so you guys can see like what it looks like and how much it's tanned me over time, which I think is really cool. Um, I had used this like last week and I didn't film it because I wanted to know what it looked like and how it sit with my skin because I have very sensitive skin and it tanned me within like a couple of hours actually. And I had seen it like even under my makeup, like it like blended perfectly, especially when you bring it down to your neck. Um, has no scent uh, and I like to put it on as my moisturizer um, before uh, my makeup so it's a great primer um, but yeah I'll be filming this over time and we'll see the results it's also recommended that you use this before bed which is good because I always moisturize before bed anyways so that works but I also use it before makeup because my skin tends to be kind of dry when I wake up in the mornings before I do makeup and I want to make sure I have a very moisturized base before i start applying any foundation this is day one we're gonna put this amazing product on i just seriously love that you can just scoop it off like this is just awesome okay so this is how much i'm putting on i might put a little more on just because your girl is got a very tan body but not not face 
there's no scent and it immediately it feels like it's hydrating i love it i know it's a cream but i feel like it is a mixture of a gel cream which i love it's right in the middle it's not super thick and creamy it's more of like gel like and i can just tell it's already working like Maybe because I have really sensitive skin, but I tan so easily. So we've applied it all. I feel super moisturized and hydrated. I'm gonna put a little bit more on just because girl wants to look dark. We need this. So I'm doing two layers. It doesn't have a recommendation on how much to put. Just one to two pumps I think is good. But that was definitely like, I think three pumps. Okay, and make sure you bring it down to your chest. They said your decolletage is important. So we're gonna apply that. I don't wanna flash you guys. Okay. That is on and ready to go. I'm ready to be gradual so hydrating and it feels super like just refreshing on my face i'm so glad i'm doing this <laughs> i'm just it's skincare makes me happy like i'm glowing right now um okay so this is a gradual tan like i said we'll check in later um i'm gonna start getting ready for my day i'm going to brunch in a couple of minutes like i was supposed to be ready about 15 minutes ago but we had, a, we had to show off this amazing product. So once again, thank you Volley Body for this amazing product. Stay tuned for the results. It'll be later on. Um, let's get ready. I'll see you guys later. Okay, I threw on this set from IMGia and the top is shop for Go Hoes. And we're headed to STK for brunch, even though it's like 2 p.m. <laughs> I, <laughs> I took over well an hour to get ready um, when I said I was gonna take 15 minutes. It took an hour and a half. But we still made it. Mm. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> nice, that was nice. smooth, baby. Okay, so we've been home for a minute now. Um, we got um, a KFC for lunch and we ate um, and then just racked out in bed and watch Shark, Shark Tank all day, and we're doing that still. I'm about to go wash the makeup off my face because it's looking a little rough, and there's no reason for me to be wearing makeup in bed right now. Um, and then we're gonna go get ice cream, I think. But you can see my skin looking darker already. I feel like I look tan, so I'm gonna go wash my face. Okay, we went to Whole Foods. Little Whole Foods haul. And they had oat-based um, whipped cream, which is amazing. So we're gonna eat that with some berries. These look tasty. Had to try. I love olives. This is this is the boyfriend's favorite cheese. <laughs> and then we got half baked. This used to be my favorite, but oh, this camera's. This used to be my favorite, but I moved to milk and cookies and they didn't have it, so, yay. You have to match certain specifications to get in. Are you saying that they loosened them? I think they loosened them more. Uh -huh. Why is this not coming out? Oh my God, is it broken? Mm. But it's in there, right? I think so. Oh, yay. <laughs> that was fun. Are they super sweet? Baby, you've never seen sweet. Mm, I got something sweet for you. Can't wait. Wow, these are delicious. Mm hmm. Mmm. 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 Yum. <laughs> okay, so we're sitting down. And we're about to watch this guy choke on Shark Tank. We've been watching Shark Tank for like how many hours? Like three hours, four <laughs> like three hours. Um, and I'm also gonna eat olives while I eat these sweet berries. Okay. 
8 a.m. Leaving the boyfriend's house. These are my groceries from Target. Okay, guys. This is the final outcome. I definitely match my skin a lot better than we last saw my skin before I applied Bali Body. This is the final result. I just look a lot more glowier, more alive, and less dead than I did before. Um, looking tanner will definitely make you look a lot younger and livelier. So I'm so glad I have this product. It's seriously the best. And I hope you guys try it. If you do, please let me know what you think. I absolutely adore it. And I hope you guys love it too. Um, but yeah, I am pretty much done with my day. Um, we've got some more emails and stuff to do, but I just wanted to show you guys the final result. I'm so happy. I don't have too much makeup on. I just have lashes, like some mascara, filled my brows in, and I put a little bit of concealer on my pimples. But other than that, we have no makeup on, no foundation, just a natural looking tan. Thanks to Bali Body. Overall, I have to give the product a 9 out of 10. It's seriously so good, and I love the fact that it works overnight, has no smell, and it's gradual. It's not immediate, you're not going to look orange, and it's very, very natural. And who doesn't love a natural looking glow? And on top of all of those really great things, it keeps you from aging quicker while keeping you out of the sun. I absolutely love this product, and yeah, I got a haircut. I wasn't able to bring you guys along for the haircut. Also, I broke my nail. I literally was like, look at my natural nails. Like, can't wait to just do like a thin layer of acrylic. No. Literally, my nail looks disgusting, and I want to cry. It's so painful, and it cuts so deep. And I don't think I'm going to have long nails for a while. Like, it's actually gross to look at. And I'm over it. These just, I can't do long nails anymore. We're going to go with stubs from here on out. Um, so, send me nails, nail designs on IG. DM me, sisters, because your girl is looking for some fun short nails to do. Um, but I'm going to go do some work now. I hope you guys love the vlog and I will see you guys next time. Love you.